Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am going to be fishing rainbow fish for one hour. I know, pretty random, but the rainbow fish is actually one of the most valuable raw fish in the game. And especially considering its level, it only requires level 38 fishing to catch. So a rainbow fish can be caught at any fly fishing spot where you'd normally catch uh, trout or salmon. And the only difference is you need to use these stripy feathers which can be bought directly from the Grand Exchange. Uh, for around 6 GP each. So for every one we catch, we're going to be getting around 500 GP in profit and 80 fishing experience. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So we have chosen Shiloh Village as the fishing spot is very close to a bank. I think one of the closest fly fishing spots to a bank. I'm not really sure about that. There are a few other good options, including Barbarian Village, which is extremely close to Edgeville. Uh, even Lumbridge isn't really a terrible spot to fish. Each one of these does take a fair amount of time to catch, especially considering my fishing level is only level 58. So this will be a pretty accurate representation of trying this money-making method at a low level. You can see that catching them is pretty slow. It's definitely not nearly as quick as catching trout or salmon, so this is not a very good training method, but is it a decent money-making method? Raw rainbow fish are used in the hunter skill. You can use them to bait barb-tailed kebits. Uh, so that might be why they actually retain some value. Uh, they are pretty rare to get from most other places, and until recently I thought the only way to get them was from uh, Clusural Rewards and random drop tables, so I didn't even know you could fish them, and maybe no one else does either. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it. I'm done with this account. I have completed the ultimate goal, which is of course obtaining a herring pet through only rainbow fishing from scratch. Now that I'm finally done with this account, I'm going to be starting up a brand new series, which is going to be titled Beaver Pet via Juniper Trees Only, uh, and it'll be an Iron Man account guys, so anyway, stay tuned for that. But seriously, is this like some sort of record? Has anyone ever gotten a herring pet from fishing rainbow fish? Like, nobody does this, and I don't know what the odds are of getting it from a rainbow fish. Probably not any better than, like, a trout. Uh, I, pff, my god. I use up all my luck on stupid little things like this. Like, I don't want the herring pet. I'd rather some drops. I got the dusk pet on, like, KC30, and I have the thieving pet on my other account, and I got that, like, level 30 thieving or something like that. I don't even know. Alright, well, I'm going to insure it, and yeah, I guess we'll carry on with the video. We got a little carried away here. We actually did it for an hour and a half. Woohoo! Uh, it was just that enthralling. I couldn't stop. Uh, well, anyway, we ended up getting 284 rainbow fish in an hour and a half. So, wow, that was a lot slower than I thought it was going to be. I thought for a lower level fish, I would get at least four or 500 in an hour, but yeah, apparently not. So we're going to go ahead and sell these on the Grand Exchange. We did get a free herring pet out of it. So I think regardless, and we're pretty happy with this result. Okay, I just want to quickly show you the GE Tracker history for rainbow fish. Uh, it does sometimes sell for a lot of money. It goes up to as far as 1.5k each, which is really, really good. If these were selling for 1.5k each, we would have gotten about 300k an hour doing this. Now, unfortunately, they're not going for that much currently. This is the price over the last week. Uh, they sometimes sell for 1.6k, sometimes for 1k, sometimes for 1600, and uh, well, when I'm making this video, unfortunately, for 380. Uh, we can see how much profit you could theoretically make uh, if the prices were a little bit better. We're just going to go ahead and chuck these in here for... Uh, let's try for 900. So for 900 each, we're going to get around uh, 250k in profit. Every hour, you're getting around 10k fishing experience, which is definitely not meta by any means. But considering all you need is a fly fishing rod, a few stripy feathers, it's not a bad way to make a little bit of money when you're on a lower level account. These one hour challenges are meant to just be for fun, not necessarily testing any new groundbreaking methods or anything like that. If you have any other weird suggestions for one hour challenges, leave them down below. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.